All right, time for sports. It's Wednesday, uh, Wednesday. You know what that means, by You got it, Hudson. And I believe Rocky Balboa said it best. It's not how many times you get knocked down, it's how many times you get back up. That quote exemplifies this week's Island MVP. Anus Bay's own Michael Mason was on his way to becoming one of the world's greatest high jumpers until an injury almost jeopardized his career. Well, rather than hang up the cleats, he set the bar at the Olympic finals in London 2012. Here's more on Mason's courageous comeback. Michael Mason has always set the bar high for himself. I want to be the best at high jump that I, I, I can be and I'm going to try and do everything that I can to, to be the best. And nine years ago, he was the best in BC, in the country and the world, capturing a gold medal in 2004 at the World Junior Championships. Even then, his fellow high school competitors were mystified by Mason's moves. He's jumping how he is right now at this age. I mean, he all he can really do is improve, so I don't know. I'll be watching him on TV one day. Michael was just hitting his stride when his career almost came crashing down. A bone chip in his ankle was causing severe pain. He opted for surgery. Unfortunately, after the surgery, it was very painful throughout that whole year. Every time I went to jump, it was, I was in pain and really kind of unsure what was going to happen. What, you know, when's it going to heal? When I'm going to be able to jump properly again? Or am I going to be able to jump properly again? But instead of hanging up the cleats, Mason reunited with his high school coach, Ziggy Shilagovich. Hard training sessions produced results. I think he's never uh, enough with the, with the progress. He always want to go higher and higher and higher. Yeah. Ziggy and Michael had less than a year to prepare for the London Olympics. Jumping pain-free during the indoor season gave him confidence heading into the outdoor season. And on May 1st, yeah. 2012 in Guadalupe, Michael cleared the Olympic A standard 2.31 meters, a personal best. I have put the bar up there before and kind of gone up to it and actually taken a look and, you know, you've it's right at the, the fingertips. Mason was in a battle for the podium in London and was one of six jumpers who finished with a best height of 2.29 meters, clearing it on his third attempt. Three other competitors made it through their first jumps clean and all shared the bronze medal. Mason settled for eighth. But I, I managed to really put it together and got some really good jumps in there and came, came very close to getting a medal. So that was, that was just amazing for me. It's his drive, determination and dedication that makes Michael Mason this week's Island MVP. He will be formally recognized for his amazing comeback tomorrow night at the BC Athlete of the Year Awards Banquet, selected as the Harry Jerome Award recipient, given annually to BC's athlete who demonstrates perseverance. It's quite an honour. Perhaps an Olympic medal will be next. Yeah, eyes on Brazil now, uh, back to work. Well, mixed results for Island teams on day one of the BC AAA High School Girls Tournament in Langley. Claremont took a loss in their first game, but Oak Bay showed why they're the top team on Vancouver Island. Yeah, they rolled over every team on the island. That wasn't enough. The Oak Bay Breakers came to play today, coming out strong against the Burnaby South Rebels, and they were in control of this one throughout, led by six foot three. Guard Lauren Yearwood. It was all Oak Bay in this one. 76-48 was the final. The Breakers happy to have that all-important first win under their belts. Uh, the toughest game of BC's is always the first one. So to get that out of the way is big. And we're really focusing this year on getting better one step at a time, one game at a time. And I thought in the past I've done a poor job as a coach of thinking too far ahead, getting the girls focused on that ultimate goal as opposed to your ultimate goal needs to be the next game you have on the schedule. So hopefully this year a different approach will help out and we can move forward one game at a time. Boys basketball, Oak Bay last night for the challenge game between Belmont and Oak Bay for the second island berth to the Provincials. Belmont ahead in the third when Daniel Massey drains the three, well, he wasn't going to be outdone. Oak Bay's Matt Gray on the very next possession made a 49-41 Belmont. Oak Bay's Atlas St. Paul Butler with the steal and the massive one-hander. The gym goes bananas. Belmont's going to take this one, though. Shocking Oak Bay to grab the final berth to the BC Tournament. 71-54 was the final heartbreaker. 
for the Bays on their home floor. Well, the Victoria Junior Shamrocks are more than a month away from their season opener, but already this season they've made lacrosse history. By inking Dominic Pesic to a contract, they've made him the first ever European to play Canadian Junior Lacrosse. The 21-year-old from the Czech Republic arrived last night and will hit the ground running on April 27th. Well, I'm super excited. I just can't wait to hit the floor. I'm, I'm happy to be here this soon so I can get used to the game before the season starts. And when the season comes, just shows myself and prove what I can do. Got incredible hands, uh, really nice touch around the net. Uh, can score from anywhere. He's also got a really good outside shot. So he's what uh, I guess you would categorize as a sniper. Well, Dominic's touch around the net is what caught the attention of senior Rocks player Chet Konetsny. They played together in a tournament last year in Prague, and Konetsny encouraged the 21-year-old to bring his game out west. He's already up to speed on Shamrock tradition. Well, I've definitely heard of the players, right? Those Gate brothers and all these stars, and recently Dodge and the Radcliffe. Those are big names in lacrosse, so... Shamrocks have really good reputation all over the world, so even though Lacrosse is not big in Czech, everybody knows Victoria Shamrocks. Well, that'll be exciting. That'll bring the people in just to see him play a couple games. So. Yeah. And Michael Mason, congratulations to Michael Mason getting a big award tomorrow in, at the River Rock Casino. What a story. Mm, come back. Come and back congrats after. to the Belmont Bulldogs. That was a big upset. That was a big upset. So Belmont and Claremont are two island boys' representatives right. of the provincials. Well, thank you. You're welcome.